you know, this is going to sound truly remarkable, but I most miss the rain. Um, and I think perhaps because that's because I haven't had a shower for six months. But uh, the, the feeling of, uh, of nice cold drizzle on my face right now actually sounds blissful, uh, which most people in the UK would probably find quite remarkable. Uh, but yes, it is going to be quite tricky to adapt. It's probably going to take me um, at least two or three days before I feel well. And it will take me several months before my my body fully recovers in terms of bone density. Um, and also it'll be interesting to see if there's been any lasting changes, for example, to eyesight, etc. Um, but generally speaking, after about two or three days, I should be fairly comfortable back on Earth. Well, you know, the, uh, my views on Brexit are personal views and, and uh, you know, I don't feel the need to impart them on anybody else. But uh, as, what I'd like to say in terms of cooperation and partnership, of course, is just the fact that I'm, I'm here floating in the most incredible achievement of uh, not just European cooperation, but international cooperation. And this space station would not exist if it wasn't for all of the international partners and what they have managed to achieve despite their political differences uh, throughout the years. And hopefully that will continue into the future of space exploration as well. There was, there was one moment on the spacewalk when uh, Tim Coper and myself were waiting to install an electrical component and we had to wait for the sun to set because, of course, the sun striking the solar rays would have been dangerous for us to have changed out the electrical component. And uh, Mission Control in Houston basically told us that we had about 10 minutes to hang out, take photographs and wait for the sun to set. And that is unheard of on a spacewalk where normally every minute is uh, accounted for. So um, that was truly incredible just to be able to uh, explore, you know, that, that, that part of the space station and look down on planet Earth and also look behind me and look out into the darkness and the vastness of space whilst outside the space station. I think that really is a, a moment I will cherish forever.